Mikey Pipes. On my way to my next service call. Should be a good one. Central air conditioning, not blowing cold. I've been uh, going to this customer for the past couple years. They have multiple carrier R410A systems. And of course, they live in a multi-million dollar compound on the water. So, regardless of what it is, I need to fix it while I'm there. That's what I do. You don't tell the high net worth clients that, you know, they gotta wait. That's not, that's not an option. You take care of them, and they take care of you. The same way I feed you, because I love you. I love you because you love me. And I love producing amazing content for this channel, which I hope is not only entertaining, but somewhat educational. That's the goal at the end of the day. I love what I do, and I like to express that in the videos that I produce and publish on my YouTube channel. So make sure you thumbs up this video. It keeps motivating me to make more. And let me get your thoughts, feedback, and criticism down in the comment section down below. All right, let's go. Time, timer flash seven times. ETU system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. It's me, Mikey Pipes. And I got my Ellie Tech electronic refrigeration leak detector. Let's go check it out. Eighty-eight degrees outside, and it's probably hot as balls up there. All right, we got a carrier, two-ton, little baby air handler. Some duct work here. Looks like the system was frozen, probably. That's water. Still got condensation visible on the condensate drain line. High humidity area. Let's see if we, what we see on this coil, if we see anything. And it's very clean, actually. See that? It's a clean coil. It really is a clean coil. I'm gonna open up this cover. I'm suspecting a refrigeration leak. I'm well, not suspecting, I know we have a leak somewhere. I'm hoping it's at this evaporator. Oh, got a leak right there somewhere. Right there. Let me mute this so it doesn't drive you crazy. All right. We have a leak right over there somewhere. And of course, there's the dye. See the dye? The green right there? There it is. Look at that. Elitech delivered the IR200. Sick. Sick, sick, quick, and responsive, and very, very reasonably priced. It's beautiful, we have different sensitivities, high, medium, and low. It's a great, great machine. And there's our leak. We have a defective evaporator coil. You all right? Look at that, crazy. Get that out of the way. And then all that rust, that's from that, you know, that bimetal eating. She's being eaten alive. She's being eaten alive. You guys hungry? I am. Let me give a price on a new evaporator coil. Hi. How's it look? I need more. Oh, you're packing? No, I'm selling. Selling? Yeah, I just... Oh, that's right. You, just, you have the online shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell everything. Anything cool? Close. I don't know. Everything that I don't want. <laughs> I might as well sell it and then buy new right. things, right? Correct. Um, I found the leak. There's a leak. I thought that they said that there was a leak once. Of course there's a leak. Yeah, so now... I found the leak. I have this electronic leak detector that a uh, company sent me, and I, I use it. And they're a sponsor, actually, of my YouTube channel, actually. It's pretty good stuff. What? They're a sponsor of my... I'm a YouTube... You know, I'm a, I'm a YouTube celebrity. Oh, no. I, I don't follow that. You know? I'm so out of it. <laughs> uh, so they sent... Certain manufacturers send me stuff to use in the field. That's amazing. And then they pay me. Why not? I get exactly. uh, that's why I do influencer. I do uh, I get free. The last thing I got like a ninety dollar free makeup. 
See, look at that. Because you're a social media influencer. I'm not really. I'm like <laughs> five people. I'm like, what? Tom Ford. They gave me a makeup Very thing. Nice. Really? Nice. I have to like, but I'm, I just can't do YouTube. But I don't know. It's it's amazing because you know why? I, I was a marketing major in uh, okay. business. Everything is like there's no more commercials. There are commercials. Oh, on TV, you mean? There's no TV. TV's I know. Dead. You, you get not TiVo, TV. not TiVo. You have DVR. I have DVR. a burning jet, cancer my optimum. I don't watch regular TV. All I watch is Netflix, Hulu, Paramount. I don't need regular Disney TV. Plus? No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Discover, no, sorry, Discovery Plus. No. Discovery is for all the HGTVs. I, I used to, I worked for HGTV. Really? Yeah. You worked or, or work? Worked, worked. Oh, like, past tense. Like, Imagine I Imagine if you, if you worked for them still, this may be a free service call. Oh, no. Because then, I can say, okay, you... I worked in the ad sales, this was before I was married to Simon. Because I would love to have my own HGTV show. Oh, my God. Mikey Pipes. You'd be good. I would be good. Why don't you put it out there? Yeah, let them come to me. I'd rather them come to me because then they But they, they have to notice you first. How many followers I, do you have? I have thousands. Really? Thousands. You on Instagram? I'm on Instagram as well. But I'm on what Instagram is Pipe Doctor NY. I'm gonna friend you on Instagram. Okay. I sent Peanut away. I woke up with a migraine today. Oh so. peanuts at the possum? The the doggy day oh day God. school? Do you know it's doggy day camp. No, they're not a very good school. You have to see this video. They said, don't show Karen. And thank God, Jay says, I don't lie. I don't hide anything from my wife. <laughs> I would kill him. Wait, I know, I don't want this taking up like money of your time. I know you're Oh no, you're, you're paying me anyway. So might as well have, have a great time while we're, while we're at it, right? <laughs> oh my God. So you're selling a sports bra, looks like. Uh, I don't want it. So someone will buy it for like 20 or 15 bucks. Would you like me to put it on my YouTube channel? No. Sure? I, I won't take I, any any commission. I want to take. I want to sell something else. Uh, those are stupid things. I'll put it on my YouTube channel. No, no, I sell better <laughs> things. You want the good news first or the bad news first, uh, or like since you're the boss, the I do whatever news. you want me to do. The bad news. I, okay, I, I the bad know. news is is that there is a there is a leak in a coil. It's called an evaporator coil. Okay. It's located in the attic that I just went into. Okay. Uh, which temperature was pretty much okay because it's insulated up there. Um, but I use this electronically detected by Ellie Tech, okay. and we f yeah, because you should video how using their product. Oh, I thought I did up there. I did that up there. Oh, yeah. you did? Yes, of course. So showing how video yeah. their products and yeah. how you found that, and then you have to post it so you can exactly. more sweet things. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. They, trust me, they're sending me some more toys, tools. I call them toys because they are. How much does it cost to buy that? This electronic lead detector, I believe, is, is relatively inexpensive. I think it's about 300 bucks. It's not 300 dollars. But there'll be a link down in the description box down below. <laughs> let me let me tell you the bit. Let me. Then. I'll give you a discount anyway. Well, family let me let me let me, let me let me let me tell you let me tell you the bad news. Okay. The bad news is there's a leak in the coil, and it's caused by steel, which is holding this coil together, eating away the copper. So even if I really wanted to like make a repair on it, it's not really going to work. Because more leaks will develop, and you're just pissing away good money. Okay. So the bad news is there's a coil and a leak. The other part of the bad news is that this part is not in this region. And what that means is, like, Carrier is the manufacturer of your equipment. Of course, yeah. And, we, and the local region is CE Northeast. It is the coil that we need to put in there is not in this region, which means it needs to be, you know, okay. transport out. What's the quick fix? What's the long term fix? Well, hold on, let me get to it. So the bad news is, is that I won't have the coil until Tuesday. Okay. Today's Thursday. So next week. Can you Now the good on news is. And it just work temporarily? Say that again? Is yes, I could. Yeah, well, it's not free on, it's pure on. Yeah, pure, they changed it. They yes, don't want to use correct. So yes. we can do that, but keep in mind that it's just not even a Band-Aid. I'm just buying you comfort. That's what, because that's we, what we've done. Because we long. are like, you know, we, we're used to comfort. I need comfort. I need comfort too. Yeah. In the, in the it's more than comfort. It's like a health risk. Yeah. Yes. I so, might kill my husband if I get too hot. <laughs> so his wife is hot. You got to get the AC fixed. Are you videoing this? Yes. So of course, his wife is hot. You better get the AC fixed, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I ordered the coil. I'm gonna pump them up with Puron, and have a nice day. Cha ching. Teep? Teep? Yeah, and I know what you guys are thinking, some of you. 
Some of you are thinking that it's not right, it's EPA violation. Well, no, it's not. It's a, it's a residential system. And at the end of the day, it's a residential system. And when a large majority of your customers live in multi-million dollar estates, AKA Taj Mahal's, you don't tell them no. You don't tell them that there's nothing I can do because it's false. You know, it's like saying R22 is not available anymore, like some YouTubers say. You know, it is available, it's just very expensive. So, it is what it is. If you're gonna give me a thumbs down because I made his wife cold again because she was schwitzing, go right ahead. I really don't give a shit. But at the end of the day, I provide a professional service. I quickly found a leak with the Ellie Tech. There's a link down in the description box down below. Quickly, not even 10 minutes into the service call did I identify a refrigeration leak on the system. I immediately called carrier. I got pricing and availability, made the customer aware what's going on. And you heard what she said, fill me up. So I filled her up and now she's cold for now. It may last an hour, week, month, year, who knows? But I was here a week and a half ago told him, listen, we got to put, we got to solve the leak on a different system. And now I'm here for another one. And it's like, you know, these Taj Mahal's have multiple systems. What do you want me to do? You know, this one has six systems in it. It is what it is. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. I know the majority of the professionals out there in the United States are going to tell me, Mikey Pipes, you did the right thing. And I know I did the right thing. I got to deliver comfort on a professional level made him aware what's going on this is what i can do and this is the bad news what do you want to do and let them make the decision peace out